Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to uh, Busy Bee Budgets, where we talk about all things budgeting and financial independence. Um, I hope you've had a good week. Um, in this video, I'm just gonna do my week uh, one cash out and my week two uh, cash stuff. Um, so if that looks like something you wanna be involved with, then please stick around. I'm also gonna do a quick savings challenge as well um, and just generally talk to you about how my week's been. So um, yeah, grab a cup of tea uh, or whatever you wanna drink and we'll have a little chat. Um, so this is week two of March for me. Um, so week being the 20th um, of March. Um, so it's so week two, I know most people have like already finished March and are on to April, but um, this is my week two. And I'm planning on stuffing 270 into my variable envelopes. Um, and also my loan has come out this week. Um, so that's all good. Um, I also made five pounds off Marketplace. I'm gonna be selling some more stuff over the weekend, um, but that's gonna be added in. So I'm gonna use that for my cash, uh, for my savings challenges. Um, so there we go. So we should be um, stuffing 270. So I'll just count it because we all know what happened last week when I was 100 pounds short and hadn't noticed. Uh, so we've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 120 in 20s, which means there should be 150 here in 10s. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150. So I've got 10 pounds too much. So it should be 270 there. Cut again 20 40 60 80 1 120 and then 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 110 120 130 140 150 okay so this 10 pound is spare so i'm going to pop that back to the bank so good job i check i do this wrong every single week i don't know about you guys but i seem to find this really difficult um so what i'm going to do is just move some stuff around Uh, so I've got my budget up there just so I can see what I'm doing. And then these are my envelopes. Um, so I need my change jar. A lovely change is good jar. Uh, so for food, um, I have 50, I've got 50, 75, 77p left. So that's gonna go in my change jar. So nothing in food, uh, nothing left in fuel. I've got, I think, 40 in self-care, so 40 in self-care. I've got 20 in socialising. Gifts, I've still got quite a lot in, so 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 120, 130, 140. I'm gonna stuff that again this week, but also um, I'm nearing the end of my like epic present buying spree, so that should kind of go back down to normal. I think I've got 10 in miscellaneous, yep. Uh, nothing left in spend and 20 left in giving so they're re looking reasonably healthy and much healthier than they've looked over the last few weeks so i think i'm getting into my stride with this um in terms of uh just managing my budget basically and not thinking about what i've got coming up for each week and also just not getting a bit too carried away um so yeah so that's working quite well so um food is going to get 100 as always so 20 40, 60, and I think I'll do the rest in 10, so 70, 80, 90, 100. Um, and I know this seems generous, but this is all our food. Um, we don't like have lunches out or anything, and it also covers the dog's food, our toiletries, and all our cleaning supplies. So basically everything I buy at the supermarket, I put in the food category, um, just because that's generally where I'm kind of doing that kind of spending. Um, fuel is gonna get 20. Um, I filled my car up for the first time in a while and it was over £80. Um, but this week I did some trips for work so I'm going to get some of that mileage back. So I need to work out a way of... I might just treat it as another income source and maybe use it that way for fuel, I'm not sure. But I need to think about that now that I'm starting to get travel paid for by work again. Um, I just need to think about how I'm going to do that. So that's a problem for I think probably when I do my April budget. Um, I'll kind of think about that. Uh, so that's fuel has got 20. Let's tick these off. Uh, so self care is getting 40. That's it. Put the last two 20s in there. So that should now have 80. So 20, 40, 60, 80. Um, I have got a skin treatment next week. So I might just need to move some money from another envelope. But um, it's kind of materially there. So that, that's not a problem. Uh, gifts is getting 50. Actually, what did I put in socialising? Socialising is going to get 20. So that 
much now. I've got 20, 30, 40. Um, and I've got another quietish week this week, uh, though I have got a couple of work bits. I seem to be just be socialising for work at the moment. I think it's as everyone's kind of going back to the offices and stuff, there's like lots of lunches and catch up with people you haven't seen for a while. So it's kind of not like actual socialising, it's work based socialising, but we'll see how that continues. Uh, gifts is going to get 50, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. I should have 190 now, so 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Um, and I'm going to order the last big gift this weekend, and then um, this I might transfer over to my sinking funds rather than keeping it in variable. Um, but we'll kind of see how it goes. I can see how I like that. Um, miscellaneous is going to get uh, 10, so that will take it up to 20, so 10, 20. Spends is going to get 20. And then giving is going to get an extra 10. So, so 30 in total in there. So that is all my 270 for this week. Um, like feeling pretty comfortable about that. Um, there's a, a bit of give in the system, I think. So I think it's nice to see how this is kind of working now. That I'm into my first few weeks, um, so that's good. Um, and then, as I mentioned, I've got five pounds, um, which I made from Facebook Marketplace. So um, I'm going to be selling quite a lot of stuff over the next few days and weeks, hopefully, on um, mixture of like Facebook Marketplace and Etsy. Um, not Etsy. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Um, and uh, eBay. Um, so I'm hoping that that will contribute to savings challenges. Um, yeah, particularly savings challenges. I think. Um, well, that'd be good. So I'm gonna continue to do my mini savings challenge. Um, so I've got five pounds here. So it just seems to make sense to do one of the five pounds. Um, and as you know, I'm really bad at coloring in or anything like that. And then that can go in my full envelope and be added to my little tin I'll pop some washi tape on it as well. Um, so I think what's nice about these little saving challenges is they just seem to add up really quickly. Um, so I've already got like 18 quid after two weeks. Um, so it kind of feels nice that you're kind of getting through them quite quickly. I've got some bigger saving challenges which I haven't started yet, but um, I'll start to do those probably from next April. Um, from next April, from April, like my next budget. Um, I think this one I'm going to keep for my treats, and then this one, um, something quite big, and this one's probably obviously going to take me a while, it's like five grand. Um, but that's all good. So I hope that was vaguely interesting for you. Uh, so a fairly straightforward budget for me for week two, feeling quite comfortable about it. Um, yeah, kind of makes sense. In my next video, I'm going to talk to you about sinking funds because usually I do a really big stuff of sinking funds. But I'm not going to this month because of a very exciting reason. Um, but I'll do a separate video just to kind of talk you through, uh, yeah, well, like what I'm planning for my sinking funds and why is that's changed this month. So um, if that feels like something you want to watch, then please pop back. And um, hopefully I'll see you soon in another video. So take care. Have a lovely day.